Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So one of the best things about Linux is your ability to completely customize your user experience. And what I'm talking about specifically here is how your operating system looks. Now, I have been using a theme and icon combination that I've absolutely loved. And if you want to see how I did that, I will leave that in the description area below and you can see that episode. But now I found a brand new theme and icon combination that is now my favorite Linux theme of 2018. And I'm going to show you how to set that up today. It's super simple. So I'm going to go here into my virtual machine. And here I actually have Linux Mint 19 Cinnamon Edition. Now Linux Mint, in terms of how it looks right out of the box, it's not the most visually appealing one, but it's very functional and simple. But we could actually make this a little bit more exciting. So all you have to do is first go to this website called gnome-look.org. You could come down here to icon themes. And then go to top. And you could also search for this as well. And so scroll down here. There is the flat remix icon theme. And this is one that I really love because it's extremely clean and it just looks good. So hats off to the developer of this. So all you have to do is download version 1.55. I specifically like dark themes and so I download the flat remix dark theme. And if I go here to my downloads folder, there's the zip file. And once you've downloaded the zip file, simply right click on your mouse and extract it and there's the folder. Now there is two ways that you could make this icon theme pack available. You could do it globally where it's available to every user and then you could do it for just this user that's logged in right now. So I'm going to show you both ways. So let me show you the global way where you could make it available to anybody who uses this particular computer. So you'll go to home, go to file system, user, share, and there's a folder here called icons. Now there is ways you could do this through the command line but I'm going to show you the GUI way. So all you have to do is right click on your mouse on this folder card icons and then open as root. Then just put in your password. So this will give you root permissions in order to edit this folder. And so once you're in here, you can now copy this entire folder right here. Okay, so that is one way to do it where it's available to anyone who uses this particular computer. However, if you only want it available just to your user that's logged in right now, and it's a little bit simpler to do, there is another way you could do that as well. I'm going to go back to home, and all you have to do is view hidden files or control H, and there's a folder called dot icons. Just simply copy this folder here, and that's it. Now it is available for this particular user, and I think it's a little bit easier to do, so I like that simple approach but you could do whichever way you want that's why I showed you both ways and after you've done that go to your system settings go to themes and it should now be available under icons there it is so that's flat remix dark but we're gonna do some other things here as well first the windows borders I like the mint wide dark and then the controls I also like the dark controls and now for the theme which is important you're actually gonna actually add a brand new theme that's not available by default just go here to add and remove and the theme that I really like here is Vivaldi so I've already downloaded that so once you have downloaded and installed it it should be available under your desktop themes right there boom and now if you notice Look how beautiful that looks. Very clean, very quick. It's extremely elegant. But we're not quite done yet because I specifically like to have my panel here on top. And so all you have to do is right click on your mouse, modify panel, move panel, move it here to the top. And also, I don't like things on my desktop. I like a clean desktop. And so you could actually have these not show up. If you go back to your system settings. Go here to desktop and simply turn these off. And that is it. This is my favorite theme and icon combination for Linux Mint in 2018. 
And so if you had any thoughts on this theme and icon combination that I have set up here, or maybe your own that you enjoy using, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.